Marami ngayon mga sangkay sa mga eksperto na nagsasalita tungkol po sa mga nangyayaring sigalot sa ating mundo ay kinakabahan sa posibleng mangyari na pagputok ng ikatlong digmaang pandaigdigan. Dahil nga po hindi po ito magiging basta-bastang digmaan lamang na kagaya ng World War II or World War I, kundi ito mga sangkay ay magiging isang nuclear war. Ngayon mga sangkay sa ating content, panunuorin po natin, aalamin po natin, ano ang mangyayari sa ating mundo pagkatapos ng nuclear war? Yan po ang ating aalamin ngayon. Magandang oras po sa ating lahat mga sangkay. Tuloy-tuloy po tayo. Bago tayo magsimula, subscribe po muna yung ating YouTube channel. Ayan po sa mga nanonood po dito sa YouTube, makikita nyo po yung subscribe button sa ipaba. Pintutin nyo lamang po yan, tapos i-click nyo yung bell at i-click nyo po yung all. Dahil dito mga sangkay, 1.18 million subscribers na po tayo. So ilang tulog na lang, 1.19 million subscribers na rin po tayo. So dapat kabilang kayo dyan, okay? Dahil dito nag-upload po tayo ng mga mahalagang impormasyon, lalong-lalo na po yung mga nangyayari sa ating mundo. Sa mga nanonood sa Facebook, huwag nyo rin pong kalilimutan na i-follow ang ating Facebook page. At ito, may papagawa lamang po ako sa inyo saglit. Sa Facebook, okay? Sa mga nanonood sa Facebook, gawin nyo po ito sa inyong mga cellphone ng actual sa mismong video na to May ginawa po akong sample video. Ito, sundan nyo lamang mga sangkay. Habang nanonood kayo, makikita nyo po yung subs- uh, tatlong tuldok sa may bandang subscribe, okay? Sa taas ng video na to makikita nyo yung tatlong tuldok. Pindutin nyo po yan mga sangkay. Sundan nyo na lamang. Tatlong tuldok sa mismong video ko. Pindutin nyo po may lalabas po dyan na show more. Okay? Pindutin nyo po yung show more at yun lang, mga sangkay. Ganun lang kasimple. I hope na nasundan po ng lahat. So, ito na nga, mga sangkay. Gusto ko rin po ito mapanood. Ito po yan. Ano nga ba ang mangyayari talaga sa ating mundo after ng nuclear war? Kasi ito po yung pinangangambahan ngayon na possible magkakaroon ng nuclear war. So, panoorin po natin ito ng sabay-sabay. Okay? Nuclear war would forever split human history into anything that happened before and the post-war apocalypse. In the worst case, mass fires consume everything within tens of thousands of square kilometers, killing hundreds of millions within hours. Grabe. Ano lang, mga sangkay. Actually, isang oras, mas- masyado na matagal yun. Pero marami na po ang uh, papanaw sa mundo. But the worst part comes after that. Nuclear war could trigger a nuclear winter that might kill billions, maybe even completely collapsing our civilization. So, magkikreate daw po after ng nuclear war, magkikreate daw po ito ng uh, pagulan ng mga yelo. How does it work? And what would it look like? Fire causes winter. Mm-hmm. When a nuclear weapon detonated, a bubble of gas hotter than the sun is forced into existence so hot that everything within kilometers immediately begins to burn. The terror bubble expands rapidly, filling the sky over its target, creating a devastating shockwave that causes most of the immediate destruction. Grabe oh, tingnan nyo mga sangkay kung gaano kalaki yan. Yan po yung magiging damage niya. Ganun lang kabilis sa isang syudad, mga sangkay, kapag nuclear ang ginamit. Basically, you break a lot of stuff and set it on fire. And in the worst case, this turns into a firestorm that consumes everything and everyone on the ground. Kahit forest, apektado, so may climate change pa, naku po. Right after the explosion, a gigantic mushroom cloud rises over the destruction like a demon throning over its perverse work. But in the following hours, a far more deadly cloud forms. The fire burning cities, forests or fields heats up so much air that it creates its own micro climate and wind system. Hot air and hot smoke rise, pulling in fresh air from the surroundings and fresh oxygen stoking the flames even more. Grabe, This no? creates an updraft and forms a colossal pyrocuminonimbus cloud that carries the soot and aerosols from the flames high into the stratosphere. Under normal conditions, the soot rising from a big fire is quickly washed out by rain. But a pyrocuminonimbus cloud can reach altitudes well above the height where rain clouds form. Once above the tropopores, there's simply no weather to remove soot from the atmosphere. Yan po ah, yan po yung resulta mga sangkay. Na, nakikita nyo yung cloud na nagpo-form siya after po ng pagputok mga sangkay ng nuclear. May masamang epekto po yan sa tao. Kaya yan ang tinutukoy dyan mga sangkay. Ano nga ba ang mangyayari after ng nuclear war? Kasi kapag naganap ito, hindi na po ito kagaya ng dati ng 
uh, World War II or kahit nung una pa nadigmaan na ano lang, mano-mano mga sangkay yung labanan, pagandahan ng gamit. Pero ito, nuclear. So, ilang oras lamang, boom, warak ang ating planeta. At ayun nga po sa report, napakarami mga sangkay. Billions of people talaga ang talagang babagsak. So it can stay aloft for years. If this happens to a single city, it's a tragedy, but a fairly local one. Tingnan nyo mabuti, But in a full-scale nuclear war, warring nations following the cold logic of mutually assured destruction could use hundreds or even thousands of nuclear weapons all at once, creating hundreds of firestorms, sending up to 150 million tons of soot, a cube the size of a skyscraper, directly into the stratosphere. In the next few days and weeks, the soot... Ayan na. After ng ilang araw at ilang linggo, ito na mangyayari. ...begins to blanket the earth at high altitudes absorbing light high above the ground and preventing sunlight from reaching the surface. Mm -hmm. This is not like science fiction where the sky turns dark and the sun disappears. Winter is what happens when just a little less sunlight hits the ground and now suddenly a lot less sunlight gets through. Yesterday, the world was normal. Today, nuclear winter begins. Let's help. Nuclear winter magsisimula kaagad mga sangkay. So, Ganyan ka komplikado kung kung mangyayari itong nuclear war. At hindi po kayang i-afford yan ng marami. Hindi kakayanin ng marami Causes ang mga sangkay. Hunger. How bad nuclear winter would be is still an active area of research. It all hinges on one thing. How much stuff will burn really hot? How many firestorms will be caused by the heat of the explosions? This depends on many factors, from the materials a city is made of to the time of the year, if a forest is nearby, and so on. Yan na po yung maging forest. Wala na, mga sangkay. Pambihira. So, just keep in mind, we're working with some assumptions. Here's the good news. Nuclear winter is not permanent, and definitely no new ice age. The effects on the climate only last as long as the soot remains in the atmosphere, which is at most a decade or so until it clears out and temperatures normalize. The bad news is that this causes almost immediate climate change within a few weeks. It mm. disrupts our climate system faster than any living being can adapt to. In Grabe, no? So, ibig sabihin mga sangkay, though hindi naman magtatagal yung makikita po natin na uh, nuclear clouds, na delikado na magkikreate po ng nuclear winter after po ng nuclear war. Kaya nga lang mga sangkay, after ng ilang taon, ang magiging problema dito, yung mabilis na epekto ng climate change. Ngayon pa nga lang mga sangkay na wala pang, wala pang ano tayo, wala pa po tayo sa stage ng nuclear war. May climate change na po na malala. Abnormal na po ang panahon. How much more kung magagano po itong nuclear war? This new climate, our seasons are suddenly all wrong. Winters are much longer, summers shorter and colder, or gone altogether. This also means less evaporation over the oceans, which means less rain and maybe large-scale droughts. Grabe. Hindi na uulanin gaano mga sangkay. Yan na po magiging epekto ng uh, mundo after ng nuclear war. This is bad because our food eats the sun. Without good summers and enough rain, growing seasons shrink or even collapse. The majority of humanity lives in an area called the mid-latitude, a strip of land that has the ideal temperature for our species. Not just because it's not too hot or cold, it's also where the plants we eat grow best. The vast majority of the food we eat stems from a few highly efficient crops that are mostly produced in a few very agriculturally productive regions like the US Great Plains or Ukraine. From these bread and rice baskets of the world, they get traded and shipped around the world. In the worst case of a full-scale nuclear war, the temperatures in the mid-latitudes will probably stay below freezing for several years. Nako. Nothing at all can grow under these conditions, and the world's bread baskets would suddenly turn empty. My if goodness. food production crashes, the world's food producers would very likely ramp up prices. So kukulangin mga sangkay na ng supply ng food, tapos tataas na po yung presyo ng bilihin. Or even stop selling food to other countries, if they're still My able goodness. to farm their fields at all. It's easy to calculate how many people can be alive on Earth. You take all the calories 
we can produce and divide them by what the average person needs to survive. Oh my goodness. If you have more people than calories, then within a few weeks, you don't anymore. Humanity has only a few weeks supply of crops and food, not enough to survive this drastic drop in production. Grabe. But the climate is not the only issue. Modern Industrialized agriculture is a complex affair that relies on functioning supply chains to provide unthinkable amounts of industrially produced fertilizer and chemicals to kill weeds and vermin. Massive numbers of specialized modern machinery is plowing, sowing, harvesting and distributing. After a nuclear war, especially if the countries that produce the food were part of the nuclear exchange, there may simply be no more fuel, fertilizer or machine parts because there are no more oil refineries, ports and other essential infrastructure left, damaging global food production even more. Okay, so now that we've set the stage, let's look at what science says about the actual wars that could happen. Actual nuclear war. Today, there are two main conflicts that scientists think about when making calculations of nuclear winter, a nuclear war between India and Pakistan, and one between the US and Russia. The most likely smallish nuclear exchange would be fought today between India and Pakistan, mm -hmm. with relatively low yield weapons. Even in a pretty mild nuclear war like this, the immediate explosions would kill around 27 million people, which is horrible enough. In just a few hours, more people would die than in all of World War I. Oras lang, mga sangkay, ganyan po katinti. Diba dati nung World War II, tumatagal po yung ano, digmaan? Yung scenario talagang pagandahan pa ng plano yan, yung strategy, pero this time wala na pong ganun mga sangkay. The ensuing fires would not cause a nuclear winter, but a mild nuclear autumn. But even this would disrupt the climate and thereby global agriculture, enough to starve up to 250 million people worldwide. Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, India and Pakistan are in an arms race and have been increasing the number and power of warheads in their arsenal. The next stage of escalation would be war with hundreds of nuclear weapons. The bombs and fires destroying many major population centers and killing over 100 million people. A war on this scale would cause a nuclear winter that would damage global agriculture enough to cut the available calories for humanity in half. The number of people that starve to death would be as high as 2 billion. Grabe. 2 billion. Ano lang yan mga sangkay ha? Gutom lang yan. Ayon po yan sa science. Sa gutom, after ng World War III, or let's say nuclear war, millions pa po or billions ang mabubura sa mundo. Dahil sa kakulangan na po ng supply ng pagkain. Ang mga bansa ay magsasarap po ng kanilang uh, inilalabas sa mga produkto sa iba't ibang mga bansa. Ini-export. So talagang gutom po yung aabutin dito ng mundo at higit dyan mga sangkay, sira na po ang kalikasan. Ang ibig sabihin, babalikan na po tayo ng kalikasan at that time, magkakaroon ng matinding taglamig, magkakaroon ng matinding tag-init, mga sangkay, pagkatuyo ng mga uh, pinagbumula ng tubig. One in four humans alive today. The the worst case scenario is a full-scale global war between NATO nations and Russia or, nah. or China, which also continues to build its nuclear arsenal. In a war between a former, future and current superpower, thousands of nuclear weapons could be detonated. In a scenario with around 4,400 nuclear weapons, 360 million people would perish right away. Mm -hmm. We have no other event to even compare the death and destruction to. It's like humanity dropping an asteroid on itself. The nuclear winter that follows such an apocalyptic war would tank human calorie production by as much as 90%. Not only would almost all of our agriculture take an immediate and deadly hit, the climate would take at least a decade to recover. Because a war like this would specifically hit the world regions that produce most of the food for humanity, recovery will be much, much harder than with other conflicts. <laughs> Within two years, the global death toll from starvation could rise to about 5 billion. In yeah, mid -lat 5 billion. Ayan na nga po ang sinasabi mga sangkay. 5 billion daw po talaga yung aabutin ng populasyon na talagang mawawala mga sangkay after po na nuclear war.
destitute countries like Russia, China, Canada, the US, and much of Europe, only a few percent of the population might survive. Humanity will never be the same again. Ay, nako, hindi na magiging kagaya dati. So kung anong nakikita natin ngayon, sa tingin natin, uh, abnormal pa po ito dahil sa climate change. Pero ito na po yung pinakamagandang nakikita natin sa labas, mga sangkay, mga syudad. After po ng war, after po ng nuclear war, ang mundo ay hindi na po magiging katulad sa kung ano ang mayroon ngayon. Delikadong delikado talaga, mga sangkay. While nowhere is truly safe, some nations in the Southern Hemisphere may fare well enough to endure what the rest of the world collapses. All the nuclear weapon states are in the Northern Hemisphere, so a few countries like Australia, New Zealand and Argentina may be able to endure for a bunch of different reasons. Grabe. Yan lang po. Ito lang tatlong bansa. Ang possible na makaligtas mga sangkay. Their nuclear winter would be milder. They have a lot of livestock that would not be as affected as crops, so they would probably stop exporting food and focus on keeping their own people alive, assuming they aren't invaded. Sila sila lang, ang tatlong bansa lang 'yon ang makakapag Uh, keep ng kanila mga supply ng pagkain so hindi mahihirapan gaano hindi masyado mahihirapan ang komunidad nila their food by other starving nations it's safe to say that the world would become extremely unpleasant for a long time and it's impossible to know how many people would have died when the nuclear winter ends oh my goodness in the worst case human civilization could collapse and the survivors would be thrown back thousands of years slowly trying to recover a world full of scars and graves. Eventually, when they've rebuilt civilization, would they ever build nuclear weapons again? We know for sure that we need to do anything we can to make sure nuclear war never happens. Mm -hmm. This video was supported by Open Philanthropy. If you want to know what you... Okay, so, yan po ang magiging scenario, mga sangkay, just in case na magkakaroon nga po ng nuclear war. At hindi po kakayanin ng sangkatauhan yan, mga sangkay, kung magaganap ito. Pero, kikita po natin yan, mga sangkay, yung senaryo. ba diba? NATO against Russia, uh, North Korea, China against some or many countries in Asia. Yan po yung ganap ngayon, mga sangkay. So, kapag nagkaroon ng full-scale ng nuclear war, boom. Kawawa ang sangkatauhan. Ang mundo natin ay hindi na magiging katulad sa kung ano ang mayroon ngayon. Well, ano po ang inyong komento, mga sangkay? Dapat pa ba talaga tayong humantong sa nuclear war o ang ating mundo? I-comment nyo po sa ibaba ang inyong mga opinion. Meron po akong isang YouTube channel, guys. Ito po, isang revelation. Hanapin nyo po ito sa YouTube, mga sangkay, nag-upload po tayo dito about sa mga nangyayari sa ating mundo related po sa Bible prophecy. So, ang gawin nyo lamang, pag nakita nyo na itong YouTube channel natin, click the subscribe, click the bell, and click all. Ako na po ay magpapaalam, mag-iingat po ang lahat. God bless everyone.